Hello gamers from around the world, this is Archimedes, the video game enthusiast from Germany with an exclusive early preview of Song of Iron. Ok, you all know that in today's video game landscape we are spoiled with a ton of AAA releases basically every month, but what I really do like about our gaming habits these days is that we also get smaller games, indie games from talented small development teams or even from single persons. Every now and then it happens that one of these indie games turns out to be a true gem. The difficulty about indie games is that there are a ton of them out there and it's sometimes hard to discover them. Usually we get these sizzle reel trailers during the big shows and sometimes you watch them and one of the games just stands out for you with the 5 second look you get. And one of these games was definitely Song of Iron for me during the Xbox July event. So I looked it up, the game is developed by one super talented guy named Joe and after I met him in a podcast a few months ago we started talking. So he approached me a few weeks ago and asked me if I wanted to play an early build of the game and how can I say no. And now there will be a public beta slash demo for the game really soon and the game will be part of the video game awards. That's why I'm super proud to have this video today for you guys to give you an exclusive early look and impression on Song of Iron from my side. And make sure to let me know in the comments below if you want to see these kind of game coverages like previews and reviews more often on my channel. But before we dive into Song of Iron, I want to ask you for a favor. I put a lot of work into my videos and I try to grow my channel, so if you think you are enjoying what you see, then please consider to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. All of this does not cost you anything and is completely anonymous by the way, but it helps me more than you think. And if you know someone who would enjoy this kind of content, please feel free to share it out. I really do appreciate all the support. And now let's talk about Song of Iron. So for those of you who see the game for the first time, what is it? I'd say it's a 2.5D hack and slash brawler with some stealth and riddle elements. You play as an either male or female viking and you get to fight your way through hordes of barbarians. Ok, this sounds a bit confusing, let me make a comparison that is supposed to be a true compliment. From the trailers I have seen I thought this was an action packed 2D hack and slash, but there's actually more to it. When I played it for the first time I got some vibes of Inside, one of my favorite indie games of the last generation. And that's mainly because the game focuses on this play in between you walking through the shadows in stealth or if you choose to go head on with the enemies. So it's a mixture of some of the riddle and stealth elements of inside combined with a lot of action during the fights. And let me tell you the fights are not just button mashing. You won't get far if you just hit one single button. You have to really pay attention to what your enemies do in order to either block, evade, counter or just straight up headshot your enemy with an arrow. You can also throw your axe but you should only do that if you can pick it up later again. And this brings me to one of the highlights of the game the animation work. You really have to pay attention to what the enemies do and this is done beautifully by a fantastic animation work. The animations look rather smooth and super realistic considering that this game was developed by one guy. So it's really fun and beautiful to look at. One minor critique from my side is, and I know this may sound ridiculous, that you have to spend a lot of time in the shadows where you have basically this black and white colors. And the game is really beautiful as soon as you step into the light. So after playing through the beta I thought I'd love to spend more time in the light and just have a look at the really great looking characters and animations. But it is part of the game that you spend time in the shadows and I didn't realize that before my second playthrough of the early build that I received because in the first playthrough I went always head on with the enemies and took them out in fights but in the second playthrough I realized that you can actually sneak around through the shadows and just avoid the enemies which gives the game real depth in the way how you can play it. On top of the action and stealth elements there are some smaller riddles to solve which was a nice change of pace. The riddles in the levels that I got to play were actually relatively relatively straightforward and simple, so I do hope that in the later levels that I didn't get to play, these riddles will be extended a bit further. As for the story of the game, well, don't expect a deep storytelling in this game. The way how the story is presented reminded me again of the game Inside. It's not done by cutscenes or text elements or anything. It's done through you encountering certain things in the world, like right here in the very beginning of the game which kicks off your journey. Ok, and with that I want to come to my conclusion. The version I got to play was on PC, but playable with a controller, which is of course how I played it. But the game will also be released on Xbox One and the Xbox Series consoles and I can't wait to play the console version of the game. Since it was an early build I played, of course I encountered some bugs, but I bet those will be ironed out until the game will be released, which by the way is targeted to be a mid-21 release. 
The developer Cho worked on this game since July 2019 and seeing what he has accomplished all on his own really gives me hope that we'll get a fun indie game in the summer of 21. And after playing this beta I can't wait to play the full game cause I had a blast with this early build. And everyone can check out the beta slash demo really soon on their own. But for now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell and consider sharing this out to other gamers. I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below what is your first impression on the game. And do you like these kind of preview videos to appear on my channel more often? And besides here on YouTube you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now thank you very much for watching, I see you the next time and game on!